Hey guys, it is me, Hypersarica, and welcome back to our free-to-play account in Last Internet Survival. So we have lots of and lots of things to do today, and let's start it off by getting some free loot. Yes, you've heard me correctly, we are gonna get some free loot, so let's go to this calendar, and here we have this daily bonus event, and here we can get this free katana. Let's take it, everybody loves free loot. And on top of that, inside of this calendar event, it looks like we have a wrecked ship event, so I'd love to go there, but we have to reach level 15. So who knows, maybe today we'll reach that level 15, and then we'll be able to get some free loot from that wrecked ship event. And our carrots have grown, so let's get all of these carrots with gotten 16 carrots from this grow bed and we've gotten 14 carrots over here and now let's get a little bit of duct tape and there we go we have all of the resources necessary to assemble the cb radio so let's do it after we assemble the cb radio i think we'll get some access to those act things we'll be able to unlock here last in earth survival story mode so i'm very excited about that let's drop that here let's drop the scrap metal and let's finalize it and there we go access to trade okay so we've just assembled the radio we can call the raiders once we reach level 150 or we can call traders but i look at the top part of the screen here something is shining and now we've just unlocked these acts life doesn't stand still and in the wasteland new opportunities come across even more often than the infected but you never know where the past can lead you in pursuit of a dream so let's open that up joe has been radio silent for too long he might have got into trouble he needs help so let's now call joe on the radio that's how we're gonna start it there we go sos signal let's call them if you can hear me it's joe i'm in urgent need of yeah probably help so let's go let's visit joe so we have to find out what happened i feel like we have to go outside now so i've taken here a paddle i've taken some healing items i've taken some weapons and that should be enough so let's go outside and let's help dealer joe so they've added these acts aka the story mode in last and earth survival a few months ago and i think it's a great addition to the game because it introduces new players to what last and earth survival is about it introduces the main characters here like that dealer joe in the future we'll be able to call him we'll be able to do trades with him but hey now we are gonna know who's that dealer joe and this is how we meet him there we go the guys are on top of this minivan don't just stay there shoot how am i gonna shoot i got nothing like how would i supposed to know i have nothing get their attention i'll go down and help okay so the guy's gonna go and deal with them on his own so what i'll try to do is use as little weapons as possible because i've done this event on my main account and obviously we had their guns and everything so it was easy to do this event but i want to see let's say you're a new player and i am a new player here right now and i think around level 10 you're gonna start doing this event and I am now literally level 10. So let's see how it's like to do this event. Is it easy? Is it hard? I have no idea. All I know is that I'm going to deal with all of these zombies. And then we're going to activate the alarm to distract the zombies. So let's do this. What if I touch this vehicle? Maybe we'll be able to loot it later. Or maybe I should loot it now. Okay, I can't even loot it yet. It doesn't allow me to do it. So you know what? Let's just start these alarms. Probably the zombies are going to start chasing me. I kind of don't want to fight them. But I guess it is what it is. Dealer Joe gave me nothing. We've also gotten here some sort of a camera. Okay, so we've just activated one alarm. Distract zombies with alarm, but I don't hear any alarms yet. Well, maybe they're gonna appear later. Maybe it's gonna start ringing a bit later. There we go. Let's loot this part of the vehicle. And then we're gonna be able to set up that alarm. And then we'll be able to take out the engine from that vehicle. So let's go here. Maybe the vehicle is gonna start beeping. Maybe. It says now two out of three. Let's take out this engine. Let's drop it over here. And again, if you're a new player and you're wondering what you can do with this engine, so you can craft a recycler, you can recycle this engine, but it's not really that much worth it. Or you can bring it to the gas station to upgrade your chopper, but for that you need to have a chopper. So technically these engines are not that worth it. So don't worry about these engines. Just because you can't bring it home, don't worry about it. It's not that amazing anyways. There we go, we've started the alarm. And this guy's gonna probably deal with them. Okay, so let's deal with these few basic fast biters while he's dealing with the bunch of zombies up there. There we go. I'm just gonna walk around. He's gonna do all the job here. There we go. Damn, junk broke down. It's such a bad time. The engine has to be replaced. And there we go. We have to follow the dealer. This is so awesome. Once you start the game, you literally have things to do. You don't have to just go and start farming wood. There must be some valuable cargo dropped off nearby. I've managed to track the signal and I would have already found if the car didn't die. Look, this one works, luckily. Okay, he's gonna get another engine. So there are two types of engines. There are better engines and there are rusty engines. But they're both the same. It doesn't really matter. Maybe some of them give more experience at the gas station. And maybe some of them give better loot once you recycle them. But I don't think a lot of players recycle these engines. Because you gotta be lucky to even find it as they are pretty rare. I need more parts though. Bring anything useful you can find in this area. I'll clear out the road. So now he's just gonna stay here and do the... <laughs> do his thing with the minigun. First, bring me the parts. Okay, so let's go up there. Let's bring him the parts. We're gonna heal up with these berries. That's why I brought these berries in the first place. I'm gonna place them here. I will take some more carrots. I think it would be better to cook these carrots because they would restore more health. Currently, we can restore 15 health and we could restore 
20 health if we cook these carrots. But I still haven't crafted any campfires, so we'll have to survive without the cooked carrots. That'll be fine. There we go. Let's get a little bit of rope. So yeah, I do approve the story mode in Last Night Survival. Currently, at the moment of recording this video, we only have two full acts. And I think we're gonna have five of these acts. So yeah, currently we have Act 1 and Act 2. We don't have Act 3, 4, and 5. Maybe one day they're gonna come out. Who knows? Maybe when you're watching this video, we already have Act 5. And we have a helicopter. That would be pretty, pretty epic. Okay, we're gonna take that stuff a bit later. We're gonna take that transistor. First of all, we're gonna deal with these crawlers. And you know what? This battle isn't that bad. It does 20 damage, but it deals with these crawlers quite decently. Maybe I should be saving it for sneak attacks. But you know what? It is fine. Let's get that transistor. And let's see what other zombies we can find here. I'm also curious if we still have some other events. Because for those who didn't know, back in the days when you start a new account, you would get some sort of seven events every single day. So for a week, you'd be getting some sort of special events. I don't really know if these events are still in the game. Maybe when they added these acts, those seven day events are gone. Well, we'll have to check that out. Let's deal with this fast biter. There we go. Goodbye. We were able to deal with this guy without getting any damage. And we have one more vehicle to loot. Is it going to start the alarm? Probably not. I mean, this vehicle is totally wrecked. It's totaled. How would it even have the alarm? I have no idea. Whatever. We've gotten everything. Give the parts away. But I found nothing. I've just found one transistor. Maybe that's going to be enough for this guy. I have no idea. But hey, let's go back here. Let's talk to dealer Joe. Found anything? Yes. Oh, I did find something. So we found some wirings and some duct tape. There we go. Let's give him that stuff. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Thank you, says the dealer. And the signal is lost, but we can track it at the radio tower. Will you go there while I'm fixing the van? Uh, yes, sure. Why not? So we've gotten some sort of rewards here. Let's get all of the rewards for mission one. We've gotten a cleaver, we've gotten jerky, and we've gotten some bandages, which those are pretty decent rewards for new players. I like that. There you go. Let's take it. When majority of the players have done this event, when they're like either max level or they've been playing this game for a few months, maybe this loot isn't that much worth it, but this event is meant for newcomers, and newcomers can benefit from this event for sure. Like, we've gotten some healing items. We've gotten a cleaver. I love that. And there you go. Now we have a second mission. On a tip from Joe, I'm going to explore an abandoned radio tower, hoping to track the signal again. Again, who knows what's waiting for me there? Let's go to that other event. Let's go to the Limestone Ridge to track that military cargo. And I've also forgotten about the Season 32 that we have here. We have some rewards to take, so let's get that pipe. And hey, we have here lots of stuff in the inbox, so that is so cool. Once you start a game, the game really showers you with loot. <laughs> so it's much easier to start the game than it was, let's say, five years ago. It's five years ago, we were almost getting no loot. But hey, before we go to the Limestone Ridge, I think it would be smart to get rid of some items in the backpack because it's already full. Oh, there's something here. Wait, what's going on? Oh, there's a healer. Okay, so let's get 100% more experience. We definitely need this. This way we'll level up even faster. So we've just watched the ad. We've gotten the 100% more experience buff. That that's great. And before we go to the limestone ridge, I think it would be nice for us to craft this dad's armor. So let's get the hat. Let's get the shirt, the cargo pants, and these sneakers. As I said last time, this armor is kind of decent. It shouldn't leave your base without this armor as it's going to save you a decent amount of healing items. So let's equip all of that. I mean, for now, we still have this tactical body armor. So I might as well just use it to get more protection. And as soon as it breaks, we'll be able to get this shirt. So let's leave this place and let's go to the limestone ridge. I do have a weapon. We have a cleaver. I think that should be plenty. And there we go. Welcome to the limestone ridge. And it is raining here. Oh, it's this event. There we go. I do remember it. Kinda. So let's start dealing with these zombies. Just as always, try to sneak behind every single zombie. That is the best tip and trick that I can give you. And there we go. Our weapon is gone. Let's get this cleaver. Maybe I should have taken something better. But again, this event is meant for newcomers. So I'm gonna maybe assume that... It's not gonna be that hard. I'm also curious if you die here, do you lose all of your loot? I do know that I'm here to teach you stuff. To explain how to play this game for newcomers, but... I've never died in this zone, and it's like some sort of a special limestone ridge. Usually, limestone ridge doesn't look like this. It's a special event in the limestone ridge, so I don't really know if you'd lose your items if you die here, because usually you do lose your stuff. So I just suggest you to not die here, and that'll be better. There we go. Let's try to turn on the lights, and there's this guy over there. Okay, we will be dealing with that guy shortly. But we've gotten another skill here. Get 5% more experience. I think we should get it. And hey, another thing that we should get today is yeah. Bunker Alpha card. Because without the Bunker Alpha card, we won't be able to clear Bunker Alpha. So we have to go and get it. I think we gotta go around this thing. And let's deal with a few of these biters. I am happy that I brought this weapon with me. And we have one more zombie down here. So let's just not touch the electricity because I'm pretty certain it's not gonna be good once I touch it. Something tells me we will either get lots of damage or we'll die instantly. So I kind of don't want to check that out. 
Let's disable the electricity now. And maybe here we'll get some loot. Okay, so generator required. And a generator is all the way over here. Whoops, there's a zombie. It crawled out of nowhere. There we go. Let's deal with a crawler. That's why it's a crawler, because it crawled out, out of nowhere. Epic. Let's heal up a little bit. I'll probably even heal up with these berries just to get some more space in the inventory. Oh no, let's pick it up. Hopefully I don't die from that electricity because we don't have full health now. And if we touch these barrels, we'll get some damage. So I'm just going to avoid these barrels. Let's drop that over here. And it is kind of weird that we have to do this event. And it's like event meant for newcomers. Like for absolute newcomers, as soon as you assemble, assemble the radio, you get called there and you have to do these events. And yet they don't give you a free weapon. You don't find a free weapon. It's kind of interesting. But I did bring a cleaver. Hopefully that's going to be enough for whatever awaits us here. Hello. Let's open the door. Okay, we have a radio here. Oh, we need to add these parts. We need to find some wirings, transistors, and an iron bar. Maybe we'll get that stuff here. I don't think we got to go back to the base to get that scrap. There we go. We've gotten some resources. That was just an iron bar and some pieces of cloth. Let's get some stuff over here. More resources found. Okay, that, that's our Glock. We've got an A transistor and perhaps something else over here. I think we need, what, wirings? Yes, we've gotten some wirings. So now let's drop those things here, baby. There we go. Let's repair that CB radio and activate the radio tower. There we go. Let's try to activate it. And I think some bad things are going to happen if I remember that stuff correctly. There we go. And fight off the bees. The guy has 400 health and it does a decent amount of damage. But it could be worse. Can I wall check it, perhaps? Yes, we can wall check, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I'm introducing you to the wall check. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. All you have to do is just keep running back and forth. And you'll be able to deal with this smasher without getting any damage. So, there we go. It takes a little bit of practice. You're not going to be able to do it on your first try. But later on, once you unlock Bunker Alpha... I think most of you already know this. But if you've never been to Bunker Alpha... There, you'll be able to wall trick Frenzy Giants and they do lots of damage. So, yeah, you can save lots of weapons and lots of heal items by wall tricking zombies in this game. So, there you go. We've just dealt here with this guy. We've used almost zero healing items. That is awesome. Now, let's activate this thing. And we've just obtained some coordinates. This is epic. So, let's find the cargo as it says in the events. Let's get the loot here. We've got to get some armor. And here we can get the rest of the armor, plus we can get a crossbow, which isn't really that of a great weapon, but hey, let's get it. The signal from the radio tower allowed me to track military cargo. Its coordinates I've written down on my hand. All I have to do now is go and collect the things Joe needs. So hey, let's go. Let's get that military cargo and let's help dealer Joe. And plus, we've gotten an airdrop. Airdrops are really awesome in this game. If you want to progress without doing much work, airdrops are your friend. We still have enough energy, so we could go to the cargo. Okay, so it's not an airdrop as I thought. It's an event airdrop. Okay, so let's go there. I think we still have enough space here. I don't have any melee weapons. I mean, we have here a golf club in the inbox, so I think we should take it. Why not? That's gonna be kind of awesome. And let's run now to this airdrop. It's gonna cost us 40 energy. That's kind of expensive. Here we can get 10 extra of those thick fabrics. There we go. And currently we are level 11. As I said, on level 15, we'll be able to unlock this wrecked ship event. Again, that wrecked ship event doesn't always stay in the game, but this is like some sort of a special event. A calendar special event. Sometimes the wrecked ship is there. Sometimes it isn't there. But all I know is that wrecked ship event is pretty decent as it's almost free and you get some decent loot there. And as you already know, we are all about this loot. All right, so there are some of the raiders. Okay, so zombie just dealt with that guy. Okay, so let's keep running around this toxic spitter. There we go. Let's get this golf club. Let's equip back our shirt. We dealt with this guy. Everything's fine. Let's get some more healing items in it. On what level we can craft these bandages? Okay, so we can already start crafting these bandages. So the more pieces of cloth we get, the better. Because with these pieces of cloth, we don't only craft this dad's armor, but we also craft bandages. Okay, we've gotten more pieces of cloth. We've gotten another cleaver and some common planks. Very, very lovely. I think we can also get some berries. And we can restore some of the health with berries just so that we heal up and save these carrots that we have. Okay, let's deal with another roaming zombie. More carrots. And do I need a gun? I don't know. If there will be lots of enemies shooting me at the same time, I'm gonna get this Glock. This way I'll save some healing items. No, no, no. We will level up. We will level up real soon. Oh my goodness. I got spat at. That's bad. That is bad. Every time they spit, you get a decent amount of damage. Whatever, let's get this quick learner. You get 10% more experience. That is lovely. Let's get it. This way we'll be leveling up even faster because we have this 100% buff from the healer at the base. And on top of that, 
we get 10% more experience from these skills. Let's deal with these deer. I think they're kind of good. Okay, we got a bunch of toxic spitters. Let's start avoiding them. All you have to do, I think, while fighting this mass of toxic spitters, just keep an eye on your health and keep running around them. It'll be easier to dodge. There you go, we got them. And as you can see, we are stinking now. So the more toxic spitters spit on you, the higher the chances that you're gonna stink. I think a few spits and you're gonna start stinking. So try to avoid those spits as much as possible. Okay, we got another fast biter. And it's so cool to level up at the very beginning once we get double the experience. This is ridiculous. I mean, we're already level 12. We're almost done with this level 12. Soon we'll be level 13. Let's load this cargo and let's see what goodies we'll get here. So we're gonna get a plank, rope, and four seeds. I guess that's cool. I'll get those seeds and I'll grow them at the base. But I'd expect better loot. There's also this character that we haven't looted yet. So let's examine the scene because that's what we have to do. Examine the traces of the incident. And we're also gonna loot all of these deer. Because, as I said, leather and meat here is going to be very important, especially leather. There we go, we've just examined another crate. There's a zombie up there, so let's examine this crate and then let's go and let's deal with that zombie. Alright, so let's sneak attack behind this roaming zombie. Goodbye, sir. Let's get some rope and I see some more berries. I wanted to kind of level up, but I think we don't even have to heal yet because soon we will level up and every time you level up, you heal automatically. You restore your health, so why waste healing items? When we can just level up and heal up that way. Let's get more carrots. We got another bag. The duffel bag is always nice. We can always get some loot. And the duffel bag gave us some leather, which is going to be useful to craft crowbars, some duct tape, rubber parts, and more wirings. Let's get it. Let's examine the campfire. And there are these two choppers. Sadly, we cannot steal them, but we can loot them. Okay, so I could have brought here some empty bottles and then I could have stolen some gasoline from these choppers but i have brought none of that and there we go nothing else in these choppers and there we go one more incident down there let's check these boxes what do we have here nothing crate examined so now we have to go to the pine bushes obviously let's get our loot from this act one wait we gotta go back here let's go to chapter one let's get the rest of the loot and there we go, chapter 2 has started, so let's see what it's all about. At Joe's request, I have to urgently find the valuable cargo. He doesn't tell me what that is, but I assume it has something to do with the activities of the military in the bunker nearby. Examine the farmer's house. We are definitely gonna examine that house, but before we go there, we gotta take a shower because we stink. And I'm back at the base and I just realized, how are we gonna take a shower without a shower itself? So let's craft our own shower. Can I even build it? Yes, no, we have a rain catcher. And there we go, we got the shower, so we need some common logs and some iron ore. We have a little bit of meat, so I might as well just start drying it. Let's put it here. We've also gotten a few carrot seeds, so just as always, let's start growing them, as that's what this game is all about. It's about getting loot and growing your carrots, and then cooking them once we craft the campfires. And what else do we need for the shower? We also need 10 common logs and some pieces of cloth. There we go. Let's get that. And I think we got these logs in this chest. Let's take it, and let's build that shower. We also need to build these campfires. That's a fact. Let's get some stones, and we also need to get some grass. There we go, we got enough grass, and we might as well just build both of these campfires while we're at it. Let's get that, and later on, we're gonna craft these melting furnaces, except I don't think we need to craft them yet. But if you have the resources, you should definitely craft it and start smelting these iron ores as soon as possible. But hey, now it's time for us to place this shower. Let's place it over here, and we're gonna place both of those campfires. I'll probably add one campfire here, and another campfire over there. There we go, that's much better. All right, we also need to get these wood working beds benches ASAP. So let's get some more iron ores. And look at this. We need to get these woodworking benches ASAP. So without any further ado, let's grab both of them and I will place these woodworking benches around this place as they are very, very important. There we go. I'll add one woodworking bench here and another one here. It's pretty easy to move stuff in this base. So later on, I will move them. So the reason why I crafted these woodworking benches is because here you can get planks and you need lots of planks in order to cook carrots or to smelt iron. So now let's get some wood. We can drop this wood here inside of this woodworking bench so we're gonna fill both of these up so this way we'll be able to get some planks and the way you get coal in this game is pretty simple so at the very beginning once you don't have any coal just drop here a little bit of planks add some planks here on the top you're gonna get some charcoal and then use only charcoal to smelt planks 
or whatever other thing you want to smelt here in this game. Because using planks as a fuel is pretty inefficient because it's better to smelt these planks with charcoal to get charcoal. But currently I don't have any charcoal, so that's why I'm going to use these common planks to get at least a little bit of charcoal. Does that make any sense? It should make some sense. I'll add here perhaps some more planks and there we go. And hey, while we added, we got to expand our base. So let's craft here one more box. I'll place that box probably somewhere here and we're maybe going to start storing weapons in it. But hey, I got a ridiculous amount of weapons here currently. We got two weapons. <laughs> <laughs> we totally needed that chest just for the weapons. And hey, the reason why we are here, because we need to take a shower. So let's get some water. Let's go here and let's take a quick, quick shower. And there's one more thing that I haven't crafted, and that is a rain catcher. So let's get that. I think we need to get pieces of cloth and we can craft a rain catcher. So let's place it. I think here... It's gonna be fine. So with the rain catcher, you can take these empty bottles. You can drop them there and with time they will refill. So look at this. We can drop these empty bottles here and in 10 minutes we can get an entire bottle of water. So now we have to find the missing crates and we got to go to the pine bushes. So let's go there. Okay, now we have to examine the farmer's house. Let's see what it's all about and let's see if we can find here any useful things. Because so far I'm using lots of items, lots of healing items, lots of my own armor. Lots of my own weapons, and yet I'm getting nothing. I mean, we do get some stuff in the inbox, so we do get some stuff back in return, but... I want, and I want more! Is that too much to say? I just want more. There's a zombie over there, so I'm gonna deal with it. There we go, and now let's level up. Let's see what kind of thing we can get here. We can only probably get this homebody. It's gonna be fine. You heal over the course of eight minutes when relaxing at home. Let's get it. And there are a few zombies down there. Again, kind of, we don't have to fight them. But you know what? Oh, those are great wolves! Not that bad. They do a decent amount of damage. They are damaging our armor, but they're gonna give some leather. I mean, for now, they give us raw hides, but we can dry it and we'll get leather. So we are getting leather, and we have some crates up there. Wait, we're gonna go and get those crates perhaps later, but first of all, let's open the house. There we go. The door is stuck. Can I check the mail place? Maybe we can check the mail place. Find a secret passage through the basement. Oh, there we go. We've just found a key, and before we go there, I have more berries here and there's another zombie that I haven't looted and yet I'm gonna get some more berries because it's kind of nice to get these bears just to save your other healing items I mean we can quickly heal up with these bears just to restore a little bit of health and this way we save a carrot or two here and there so wait I think we're gonna go on that side a bit later now let's hop down there let's go into this basement oh Okay, where we are. I don't really remember this place. It's been a while since I've done these acts, so obviously I'm not gonna remember every single step here. But hey, let's get some loot. And inside of this box, we've gotten ourselves a hatchet, a stone pickaxe, and some rope. Which is pretty easy to craft those items, but hey, they've given those axes just so that we could chop this thing down without crafting another axe on our own. Which is kind of cool. We have another zombie there. I don't think I'll be able to sneak attack it. Oh no, they're good. Lurker is just moving. Because yes, indeed, this guy is called a lurker. I was able to sneak attack it. We've done 50-something damage, and now we can easily deal with this guy. There go. The guy just ran away. This is unbelievable. Okay, so it's just going to spawn more of these crawlers. I mean, they don't do that much damage, but they are kind of painful. So okay, let's deal with one more. And lurker is out. Let's heal up just a little bit. And I'm kind of curious how much experience are we going to get from this lurker. I'm paying attention, and we've gotten 420 experience. Not that bad. We would have gotten 220 experience if not for the double experience buff, but hey. Oh, and also, there's the reason why we've gotten this pickaxe, because here we're gonna get a little bit of iron. Cool, I will mine this, and I will mine this thing over here. While we're at it, I might as well just get it. And that's how you craft weapons in this game. You just mine iron. You go to a stone zone, there will be a bunch of those iron ores. You mine that stuff, you smell that iron by using charcoal, as I showed you, and that's pretty much it. You get iron, and then you craft crowbars, and crowbars require iron and leather. I can't open this door up, so the only way we can go is up. There you go. Let's use this ladder. Oh, there's some sort of a dude. Guess I'd better bury it in the backyard for now and then figure out what should I do next. Keeping it here for too long is dangerous. I'm risking my neck. Okay, there's another zombie. Should have sneaked. I did not see it on the minimap. I didn't look at the minimap, so my bad. Could have sneaked there. Could have saved a carrot. That would have been awesome. Okay, so shovel required. So we cannot dig there. And look at this. We do see a shovel. I do remember this. So let's get a shovel, except my inventory is full right now. So I think we can get rid of this hatchet. We totally don't need it. Now we can get the shovel. We can loot this picnic table. And then there is another table that we can loot. And then we can dig some treasure. Epic. We're going to get some charcoal and some meat and other stuff. Maybe we're going to get rid of this golf club. I mean, it's almost broken. 
might as well just eat some berries. There we go. We restored all the stuff. Let's get that. Not like I really need that charcoal. Because we can always get more charcoal at the base. I think from one plank you get two charcoal pieces. But hey, that's fine. We got another empty bottle. We don't really need that right now. We'll get this plank instead of this golden watch. Especially in the beginning of the game. As that's going to be more worth it. And let's see what we're going to get here inside of this treasure thing. We've gotten some canned food and an engine. That's it. My inventory is full and I cannot take anything. Not a single thing. We have to go to the river band. We are going to go there. So I'm going to drop here some bauxite. I'm never going to use it. It can be smelted into aluminum bars, but I've never used it in the game. It's not efficient to smell this thing, so I'm not going to take it. I will, however, take these duct tapes. I also want to take the canned food. Let's get rid of this one piece of cloth just so we can get these two canned foods. And there we go. We've taken everything. I've gotten rid of this piece of cloth, so I've taken everything I wanted. And the rest of the loot here isn't that much worth it anyways. So now let's try to leave this place. Let's open the door. So now it looks like we have to go to the river bend. There we go. We've gotten another event and another event up there. So this is probably the river bend. And we got another airdrop. And I want to go to that airdrop, except again, my inventory is full. So this is going to be the real airdrop because the airdrop that we've just went there was just an event airdrop even though this is an event as well but this was a special event airdrop for this act one and now we're gonna go to the real airdrop it's gonna be the real deal and we will get some loot there and then we're back at the base so look at this we've probably gotten a little bit of charcoal so we can save now these planks Let's add the charcoal. That'll be way better. And there we go. Let's start smelting these planks with charcoal. So I've sorted out the inventory. We dropped some useless things. I still have no idea why I've taken the shovel with me. But let's go to the airdrop. Here we can get some decent, decent loot. Usually these airdrops spawn once you use a little bit of energy. So let's say you log into the game and you have 200 out of 200 energy. Those airdrops are not going to spawn. So you have to drop your energy maybe below 100, maybe below 50. And then they'll start spawning. So you have to travel around the map. Oh, no bunch of toxic spitters have spawned again. When there's a toxic spitter, just try to move. Try walking around. Because if they're going to spit, it's going to be kind of hard to dodge them. So you have to constantly keep moving in front of these toxic spitters. You got to be ready. There we go. Let's deal with one more fast biter. And around this place, there is going to be this airdrop. So just look at that. And now let's loot this airdrop. And let's see what kind of goods we can get here. So sometimes you can get here a melee weapon, a gun. You can also find other resources. So this time we've gotten a melee weapon. This is a skull crusher. We've gotten some gasoline. We can also get these coupons. They're going to be useful later on for us to open up some boxes at Bunker Alpha. And we got some caps. You know what? We can take probably everything. Again, not everything fits. We have some useless berries. There we go. Let's eat the berries. I will take those lenses. They'll be useful to craft some mods later on in the future. And there are these other two things that I'm not even going to bother taking, at least for now. I mean, those two robber parts might be kind of important in the future. So I'm going to get rid of this piece of cloth just to take those two robber parts. And this place has some deer. So as I said, don't be lazy. Hunt all of these deer. And you will get some leather. And hey, while we're at it, I might as well just deal with a few more zombies. And I think we're going to reach level 14 now. There we go, level 14. And let's see what kind of skills we're going to get. We've gotten a fisherman. You're a skillful fisherman and you know how to make a fishing rod. Now let's get it. Maybe one day we'll go fishing, maybe. So we have the survival guide. We've done all of the tasks yesterday and we have these new tasks. So I've already gotten some sort of a new skill. And now we need to make a melting furnace and we have to reach Pine Grove. So those are pretty easy tasks to do. So let's go to the Pine Grove. And look at this. At level 14, we have unlocked a bunch of new things. This is awesome. So I want to craft this tanning rack. We have to craft it ASAP as it's very, very useful. All right, we are in the Pine Grove. I'm not going to loot this entire location because I don't have enough space. And this place is a bit more dangerous. Zombies here are a bit, a bit stronger. But I think I'm going to loot here a few boxes just to see what kind of loot we can bring back home. We've gotten a baseball bat. Let's get it instead of that rope. And we have here one more box to loot. So let's loot it before anyone else attacks us here. And here we've just gotten some more water and wires. So we are back at the base and I'd love to craft some more chests. So let's get that wood from our inbox. And hey, let's craft at least one box. I'll place it over here. And in this chest, I'm going to keep these kind of items like plant fibers, pieces of cloth, raw hide rope, etc, etc. Any, let's craft one more box because we have the resources for it. So I might as well just place it here. And in this box, I think we're going to store iron. There we go. That's much better. So our base already looks more organized. And there's one more task to do. We had to craft this melting furnace. So I think we should craft 
both of them. There we go. We have the resources for it, so let's craft it. And let's place both of these melting furnaces, I think, around this place. There we go. They're gonna fit perfectly. And currently, I don't have any resources to put in this melting furnace, but with two of these iron ores, we'll be able to get one iron bar. So later on, we'll be able to do it. And now, let's get some more free loot out of the survival guide. Look at this. We're gonna get here a bunch of and bunch of rewards. Let's get the wood. Let's get more healing items, more melee weapons. And if this just looks better and better, we store here more healing items. Here we are storing some more melee weapons. And here, this is the kind of loot that we got. And hey, we've done lots of progress today. We've progressed in that act one. And I can't wait to continue, but we're gonna do it in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check it out by the long dark let's blur. Click on the second card and you'll go to my scum survival let's blur. Help over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.